your Storm Tracker team forecast with Chief Meteorologist Sam Parrish. Welcome back everyone. It was a pretty warm afternoon across the area with temperatures in the upper 90s. Got up to 98 degrees here in Baton Rouge this afternoon. And of course with the dew points really high, it made it feel really uncomfortable once again. And here it is early September. Right now we're looking at some scattered showers in southwestern parts of Mississippi this evening in Wilkinson County near Leslie down towards Fort, Aben, Fort Adams to the north of Pinckneyville and also some scattered showers over near Magnolia south of Macomb down towards Kenwood and also towards Greensburg and also a few scattered showers near Wilson and Clinton right now and also just to the west of Morganza. And we're going to see more scattered showers and thunderstorms as we go through the next couple of days. But over the last 24 hours, Woodville picked up over seven tenths of an inch of rainfall. Some places just picked up over a trace, so not very much in some areas where some areas picked up quite a bit. And that's what we're going to see over the next couple of days. But I think more areas are going to see quite a bit of rain over the next couple of days as we have this trough of low pressure dropping in from the north and west. And that's going to tap into some deep moisture coming up from the south. And that's going to keep the rain chances going for the next couple of days. And these thunderstorms have lots of moisture to work with. So these rainfall rates are going to be very intense. And then we're going to have dry air move in from the north and west once we go into Friday and Saturday. And that dry air will really feel comfortable, especially in the morning hours. And it will feel like a little bit of a taste of fall once we go into the weekend, especially in the morning hours. But in the meantime, we have a pretty good chance of scattered showers and storms over the next couple of days. Then as we go into Friday, we're going to see a front move in from the north and west, and that will start to introduce that drier air as we move into the weekend. But in the meantime, we have lows in the 70s tonight, and then tomorrow afternoon, scattered showers and thunderstorms with highs in the mid-80s. And then as we go into Thursday morning, scattered showers and storms, lows in the mid-70s, and then in the afternoon, temperatures rising only into the mid-80s with a pretty good swath of scattered showers and storms. Rainfall amounts are going to be intense in some areas. Several places could pick up several inches of rainfall and as a result of that, flash flood watch is in effect for mainly southeastern Louisiana. This could be expanded depending upon how much rain actually falls over the next few days. As we go into the weekend, we're going to see temperatures remaining in the upper 80s to around 90 degrees and rain chances will start to decrease a little bit as we go into the early part of the weekend. So we'll see it drying out and also notice temperatures in the upper 80s. But notice these lows dropping down into the mid 60s. That's that drier air moving in, giving us a little bit of a taste of fall as we go into the early part of next week. Stay with us. We have more news and sports coming up right after this.